So I've been thinking a lot about what I would say to close out Women's Month. And first, I want to thank all of the incredible, uh, amazing women out there who have gave, you know, huge amounts of their life and and sacrificed so many things to contribute to having a greater society, to having better families, to trying to share information so that we in a sisterhood could have a better sisterhood. So thank you for that. Thank you for teaching me how to balance strength and femininity. And, and most importantly, thank you for teaching me that the bravest thing that I could say is help. It's not always easy, especially being a woman. It's, it's difficult. I don't have to explain that to most of you because you understand that. So I am beyond proud of us and what we have managed to accomplish in the face of adversity. I am truly grateful, but I can't lie. I have to be honest. There are still some things that bother me. As smart as I like to think I am, I still don't understand why everyone that isn't a woman always seems to have the answers about a woman. Or how women seem to be the why in so many negative stereotypes and scenarios. Why love doesn't work. Why he left. You know, why children don't act right. It is exhausting to constantly be deconstructed, picked apart, and then mansplained to about it. But here's what I do know. As women, we are magical. There is nothing like us. When a woman steps into her fullness and understands who she is and her own value, there is absolutely nothing like it. We work hard. You know, we play hard. We love hard. We love things that sometimes don't love us. And we still push on. We push on. I, I think to, I, I just learned this recently that in 1988, they signed a bill that finally allowed women to be able to start their own business without a co-signature from a man. 1988. I was still in college. That means if I wanted to start a business while I was in college, it would have been impossible without the help of a man. And look at us now. Black women specifically are the fastest growing uh, entrepreneurial group in the country. The fastest. Nobody's even close. So you consider being a woman, but then being a black woman. Now, I'm not saying we're perfect. I'm, I'm not saying that at all. We are far from that. But I am so grateful to see that we are learning to love ourselves, flaws and all. So we're not perfect. What I am saying is we are the rhythm to the world's rhyme. You don't have to believe it. You don't have to. But I bet you this. When things go wrong, it's a woman's voice that you want to hear to tell you everything is going to be all right. When you're not feeling good, you seek out the comfort of a woman. When you want something fixed, when you want something made better, I guarantee you, you will eventually turn to a woman. You know why? The truth of the matter is, you know our power. You know it. And if you look back over your life, I'm sure you will find a woman somewhere in there who prayed for you, who rooted for you, who cheered for you, who loved you in spite of yourself. Only a woman can do that. And I am I'm so proud that we have finally stepped into our own. We are understanding that we don't have to buy into the value assigned to us by other people. And we're sharing that with each other. So we shake off the stereotypes. We shake off what you think of us. We shake off the shut ups and the you can't do that. And we move in a way that only a woman can in beauty and power and grace and forgiveness. So it's hard to kind of relegate all of that magic into one month. But, you know, like Black History Month, we have to do what we can. So I say this to all the badass women out there fighting for respect, fighting for equality, fighting to be seen, fighting to be heard, just fighting for themselves and their family. I say fight on. Fight on and know that you're not by yourself. So start that business you've been thinking about. Work on that invention, that good idea. Plant that garden and watch those seeds grow and know that there is a sisterhood around you that will cheer for you loudly in the face of naysayers. We will do that. And remember, we are the alchemist of this world. Don't let anybody define you and tell you what you can and what you cannot do. Only you know that. Move in that and continue to be magical. And remember, 
We may not always be first. We may not be valued or respected, but we will always be undeniably phenomenal, phenomenally phenomenal woman. And you know that. That's a little note from the GED section. The Jazz Report is coming up in 15 minutes. It's the D.O. Hughley Show.